we have this news breaking. We learned the victim of a deadly shark attack in Maine is from New York City. Officials have now identified the woman as 63-year-old Julie D'Imperio Hollowalk. The attack happened yesterday off the coast of Bailey Island near Harpswell. Kayakers took Hollowalk to shore, but she died. Swimmers being advised to be cautious in the area now and not swim near seals or large groups of fish. Researchers say Maine has recorded only one confirmed unprovoked attack in nearly 200 years. But sharks very much on our minds closer to home. Lifeguards are back on duty and swimmers are back in the water a day after shark sightings off two beaches in Long Island. News Force Cat Craig's at Long Beach. Cats does sound like there are some new safety restrictions. Oh, absolutely. That's what we're hearing from the Hempstead Town Supervisor. Getting busy here on the boardwalk and also on that bridge right there. And then when you look out into the beach, you see all of those umbrellas. The very latest regarding the beaches in this area and nearby, you can go in the water, but only up to your knees. It may change later today. Taking a look at this video, the Town of Hempstead Supervisor told us lifeguards made an assessment in the water this morning, and they decided swimmers can go in the water up to their knees. Yesterday, there were two shark sightings in Lido Beach West and Long Beach. The town supervisor telling us it's believed to have been a bull shark, which is known for its aggressiveness. There was no swimming at several beaches from late morning to late afternoon yesterday. The shark was seen about eight feet from shore, only eight feet. This morning, some beachgoers told us they're not feeling too comfortable about going in the water, even though it's so hot. The Hempstead town supervisor said, uh, talked about how lifeguards went into action yesterday. When the beaches were closed, they were closed all the way from Atlantic Beach all the way up to Jones Beach because all the guards, all the safety stations communicate with one another uh, just uh, for safety. And like I said, and the bull shark should not be treated lightly. It is a very aggressive shark uh, that can do some substantial damage. I'd be pretty worried. I, I wouldn't go in the water, not, at least not today. And we're back out live here in Long Beach. We are told by the town supervisor that by midday, lifeguards will likely allow swimmers to go further out in the water. But again, for now, it's only knee deep that you can go in. And hopefully, everyone is hydrating, drinking a lot of water on this hot morning. David, reporting live, Catherine Craig, News for New York. A good reminder for them. Kat, thank you.